So I've never done this before, but today I'm going to show you my second ever Lush UK haul. So my order ended up being pretty big. I ended up getting two kind of small boxes and let's see what we've got. I haven't opened them yet so this could be interesting. All right so let's see. All right, so it looks like the first thing we have here is our sample bag. Should we do it now or later? Okay, I can't wait either. So, these are the three that I actually asked for. Uh, I asked for Kalamazoo for Mr. to try out. It's like a beard wash. Um, I also asked for Morning Moringa, okay, which is a facial matte moisturizer, and Mr. Dandy's Hair Candy. There we go. Which is supposed to be an alternative for hairspray. So we'll see. I've got some little flyaway buddies here. We'll see what happens. All right. Let's see. The other two samples were Cynthia Sylvia Stout Shampoo, which I've never heard of until now. So I have no idea what it is. Let's see what it smells like. I don't know. I'm getting sort of a limey, lemony kind of scent. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's in it, but I like it. All right. All right. And then there's one more. Oh, this is the Plum Rain Shower Gel. And I know this just came out in the U.S. and U.K. stores, but let's see what we got. Ooh. This is good. I don't even know what it, I don't know exactly what's in it, but I think it smells to me kind of like it smells like Christmas, like what I think of when I think of the smell of Christmas when I was little at my grandma's house, kind of citrusy, a little bit piney, maybe juniper, maybe, not sure, maybe. Anyway, so that should be fun. So in this haul, I have mostly regular range products, but I also picked up a few limited edition kitchen products. So let's see what else we have. All right, put this in the composter. This is Silky Underwear, and this is one of my favorite products. It's kind of like a, similar to their other dusting powders, except it contains cocoa butter. So not only does this help dry off the skin, but it also can help make your skin extra soft after you dry it off. Okay, let's see what else we got. The next item that I got from the regular range is the Skins Sangrela Facial Moisturizer. And I absolutely love this because it's got a lot of rich um, ingredients for the skin, like wheatgrass and seaweed. And to me, when you open it and you smell it, it smells like, I don't know, to me, it smells like a floral cake batter kind of smell. Yeah, floral cake batter. Okay. Right. Now, this next little range of products... Call it crazy, call it efficient, call it whatever you want. I got a few, just a few tubs of the Ultra Blast tooth powder. There we go. Uh, the Ultra Blast tooth powder is being discontinued, so I decided to stock up before it was no longer available. Um, I haven't really tried enough of the toothy tabs, but I like this powder because I don't have to crunch it in my mouth like you did for the toothy tabs. But um, whichever works for you, it's fine. This works for me. And uh oh, we're running out of box. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So this is a product that I'm most excited about. This is Sunflower Bubble Bar, and it was out for. Mother's Day of 2016 last year and it didn't come back this year, but it came in the kitchen so Let's see. I didn't try this last year. I really wasn't into Lush then, but let's see what we've got 
Oh my gosh. Smells amazing. Kind of like, it reminds me of like a lemon sorbet ice cream. Oh, it's so good. Mine's a little bit, I guess, messed up from shipping, but it's okay. I just had nice clean fingers after I wash them. Right, do, back in the peanuts. Peanuts! The next item I got is the Sicilian bath bomb. Um, let's see what's in it. It's See, made with tangerine, Brazilian orange, bergamot, and neroli oil. Mmm, it's really good. All right, let's see. Ooh, let's see. Okay. All right, so just a first, first glance, it just looks like a yellow bubble bar. It's got some kind of flower petals in it. Hmm. Let's see what's in here. Do, do, do. Marigold petals, yes. And also has Cardinia extract in it. Hmm. I don't know that I'm crazy about the smell. Hmm. May, this may or may not be part of his mom's birthday present. I don't know. I'm kind of sad because I went, you know, all on my way to order it from the UK and it's it's not even that good, honestly. Oh. Beautiful. That was the end of box one, I think. Let's see what's coming in box number two. Oh, this one's really heavy. Apples. This is the Sugar Daddy O solid conditioner, and it smells of violets. I haven't tried any of the Lush liquid conditioners, but I tried Jungle was my first one. Um, I actually prefer these. They ended up working a lot better for me than the liquid conditioner I was using from a different brand. So I'm going to give these guys a try, and they're package free. So, good. Oh, goodness. I don't think that they put enough peanuts in here. I don't even remember, I don't even, did I, did I really order this one? Yep, it looks like I totally did. All right, so the next one is the Experimenter Bath Bomb. I didn't really start getting into Lush until um, after Christmas this year, just a little bit at Christmas, and so there's a lot of the regular range that I haven't tried yet. I smell... Kind of like a licorice -y scent. I don't know. Let's check the instructions. Let's see what we've got here. Tonka and vanilla. Hmm. Smells like anise to me. Yeah, I think it's it smells like anise, but it's the, I guess, the tonka and vanilla cross. It's really good. Ah! Well, that's going to be fun cleaning up later. Okay, the next one I have is another bath bomb. Um, I used to be more of a bubble bar person, but I noticed that recently that my tastes have kind of changed. Okay, this one is the Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb. And of course, it smells like the best ever rose jam. Don't know when I'm gonna use this, but it's gonna be good. <laughs> Another bath bomb from the normal range that it was actually the first bath bomb I smelled at Lush because I love the color is this one and this is intergalactic. When I first saw it, the first thing is I thought it looked like like some kind of crazy Jupiter, but oh, the smell is fantastic. Okay, on the inside it is grapefruit oil and yeah, peppermint and grapefruit oil and cedar oil. So all things that I like. Peppermint, grapefruit, and trees. Oh, I can't wait to try it. It's probably going to look like, I guess, a galaxy is the idea. It's going to look like a galaxy in the bath. I'm running out of space here, so I'm put them back in the box. Back in the box, guys. Back in the box. All right, the next bath bomb I decided to try from the normal range is this one. And this is the Twilight bath bomb. It smells of, I think, lavender. 
Yeah. Ooh. This is good. Actually, in the Christmas range, when I first smelled Twilight, I actually didn't like it. But now, I'm regretting not purchasing a bunch of stuff in the Twilight scent. All right, so inside Twilight, what do we have? We have a lavender oil and tonka and ylang ylang. Mm. It's going to smell like a relaxing floral bath. That's the idea, right? It's Twilight, so it's supposed to be like relaxing and florally, I guess. Okay, next thing is another bath bomb. Oh, it looks like maybe this one got a bit wet in shipping. Doesn't look that nice, but it smells good so far. Okay, this is the Guardian of the Forest bath bomb. It actually has like a little tree on it. All right, and this one to me smells a little bit like sweet pea flower, just a little bit, but I've checked the ingredients. So it looks like we have lime oil, rosewood, and cypress oil. Hmm. Yeah, this is really nice. Mm -hmm. And we have just one more item. The item, the second item, probably the item I'm second most excited about is this one. Ready? We all live in a yellow submarine bath bomb. All right. So this is, of course, named after the song, Yellow Submarine. And I have heard that when you put it into the bath, that it's supposed to float and stay afloat like this as it's going. I don't know if it's true. If you've tried this one, let me know in the comments below whether or not it um, will stay up or if it's, you think it's going to roll over. It has lemongrass and a Brazilian orange oil. Again, it smells like something that I would eat. I guess I like lemongrass and oranges, so I guess it's fair. That's it. All right, well, that concludes my second ever Lush Kitchen haul, but mostly not Lush Kitchen. Um, I actually buy most of my products from the UQA website because certain ones with certain ingredients are actually cheaper, and also because there are certain ingredients that I don't like that we put they put in a lot of the North American products they don't have in the um, UK version of the products. So, for example, Rose Bombshell is one of them. I checked the ingredient lens, and I'm actually allergic to one of the ingredients in the Canada-produced version, but the UK version doesn't have it, and so good to go. All right, thank you for watching. Bye!